I'm Ben Canning, and I'm going to introduce you to our next collection of lectures. This is a macro lecture, so the intention is to introduce the big picture ideas, hence the word macro, even though it's still going to be short like our micro lectures. So last unit we talked about the idea of talking about uniform motion, and this unit we're going to talk about the kind of technicalities behind uniform motion, so calculating it, graphing it, things along those lines. Remember that you need three bullet points worth of notes, so one to two sentence summary and follow-up questions for each of these lectures. So we've introduced the last time, or we introduced last time, the idea of how do we describe and predict the effects of um, pushes and pulls on motion, meaning if we have this train here and that train happens to be uh, a certain size engine or strength of engine, can we predict how fast it can pull uh, five cars like we have back here or maybe what happens if you put ten cars on. So really this idea of predicting the effect of uh, a certain strength or push etc on motion. Is it going to go fast, slow, how fast or how slow? So the unit we introduced this time is before we can really kind of discuss changes in motion we need to develop a common language for motion. Previously we talked about qualitative language meaning uh, the idea of describing it in words or conceptually, but now let's go ahead and introduce and establish the idea of a quantitative language. So instead of saying, all right, this cheetah has velocity or speed and it's in this direction, we can now talk about exactly how fast that speed is and how fast that velocity is and to calculate it. Which brings us to the collection focus, which is quantifying and graphing velocity or speed uh, in order to make precise predictions. So if we go back to this cheetah, by thinking about the quantitative aspects of its speed or velocity, we can now predict when it will catch its meal, or maybe it won't today. Maybe it won't catch the meal because it's not running fast enough. And we can use graphs to help demonstrate that information. That's it for this lecture. Uh, three bullet points worth of work notes, remember, you need to do one to two sentence summary and you need to do the follow-up questions on Google Forms.